This is the video support for the Bamberg Conference lesson for the History GCSE 9 to 1. Why was the Bamberg Conference held? Firstly, we need to contextualise. The Bamberg Conference was held after Adolf Hitler had been released from prison for his car crime of committing treason in 1923. The country that he emerges back into is one that is now recovering under the leadership of Gustav Stresemann. And what is good for the Weimar Republic is not good for the Nazis. In his absence, the party has been leaderless, and also the party is suffering because Germany is recovering. Adolf Hitler called for a Nazi party conference to be held at Bamberg. He was becoming concerned that the party was splitting in two ideologically and wanted the issue resolved as soon as possible. Bamberg was not in a random choice for this conference. Bamberg is in Bavaria, and Hitler was effectively making a statement about where he thought the heart and soul of Nazism lay. Hitler chose a Sunday, February the 14th, for the meeting in the hope that those from the north of Germany would find it more difficult to get to Bamberg than those in the south. In this sense, Hitler was making it clear where his loyalties lay. However, he knew that he had to be careful as he was unsure which group had the most support. And when the meeting opened at Bamberg, he was unsure whether or not he would emerge as the leader. At Bamberg, some 60 leading members of the party met. Both Gregor Strasser and Joseph Goebbels spoke for the North, but they were outnumbered by representatives of the party from the south of Germany. Hitler did, however, make himself clear when he told the conference that he would not allow the party to go into the direction of undiluted socialist principles. The conference was not democratic, and Hitler spoke for over five hours. There was no debate. How was the party divided? In early 1926, the Nazi party appeared to Hitler as if it was splitting into two different ideologies, two different systems of belief. He believed that the party could only go down one road, and the conference at Bamberg was called to resolve the issue once and for all. Party leaders, Gauleiters, district leaders, were called into the meeting. Those district leaders from the northern Germany were odds with those from the south, as to where the heart of Nazism lay. Those from the north were described as urban socialist with a revolutionary trend, while those district leaders from the south were described as rural, racialist, and with populist ideas. The northern side of the party was represented by Gregor Strasser, considered at the time as a rival to Hitler for the future leadership of the party, while the south was best represented by Gottfried Feider. What are the differences between the north and the south? One of the key topics that highlighted the differences within the party was what should be done with the, to homes and estates of those from noble princely or upper-class backgrounds. The more radical northern representatives believed that the estates of upper-class Germans should be expropriated, taken legally, and used for the greater good of many of the ordinary German people. Hitler made a two-hour speech in which he stated where he stood, that the expropriation of these estates would push the party along the road of communism, and that he could not tolerate anything that would help communist-inspired movements. What did Hitler say at Bamberg? Hitler knew exactly what he was doing in his speech. He tainted those who stood behind Gregor Strasser and the leadership of the North. He wanted power brought back to the South. In doing so, Hitler correctly gambled that those who stood behind Strasser would quickly move behind the Southern Nazis, who, by the end of the Congress, clearly had the backing of Hitler. One of the main figures who made this move was Joseph Goebbels. He had originally gone to Bamberg to speak on the behalf of the northern urban revolutionaries, but by the time the conference broke up, he had set himself firmly in the Hitler camp. It was a move of loyalty recognised by Hitler, who made the future head of propaganda, Gauleiter of Berlin, one of the top party jobs. Strasser, for his part, called Goebbels a scheming dwarf. What is the Bamberg, why is the Bamberg Conference so important? The Bamberg Conference is important for a number of reasons to curtail dissent within the party that had arisen among members of its northern branches and to foster party unity based upon and only upon the leadership principle, sometimes known as the Fuhrer principle. To establish without controversy Hitler's position as the sole, absolute and unquestioned ultimate authority within the party, whose decisions were final and non-appealable. To eliminate any notion that the party was in any way democratic or consensus-based institution to eradicate bickering between the northern and southern factions of the party, and finally to establish a 25-point programme as constituting the party's immutable programme. What happened then to Strasser? 
Strasser lost support as many of his supporters began to adopt the same view as the Nazis from the South. However, Hitler never forgot someone who he believed represented a challenge to his authority. In 1926, Strasser appeared to do this. He was one of those murdered on the, in 1936, was one of those who was murdered in the Night of the Long Knives in 1934. Strasser had nothing to do with the threat posed by Rome and S the SA and was politically inactive at the time, but the whole episode presented Hitler with the perfect opportunity for revenge. What happened to Goebbels? Goebbels, whom Hitler recognised as the man of considerable talent, was completely won over to Hitler's side. He gave him the important position of regional party leader in Berlin in November 1926. Goebbels responded to Hitler's personal attention with great joy, as expressed in his diary. We drive to Hitler. He is having his meal. He jumps to his feet. There he is, shakes my hand like an old friend, and those big blue eyes like stars. He is glad to see me. I am in heaven. I arrive. Hitler is there. Great joy. He greets me like an old friend and looks after me. How I love him. What a fellow. And he tells me stories the whole evening. I could go on listening forever. A small meeting. He asks me to speak first. Then he speaks. How small I am. He gives me his photograph with greetings from the Rhineland. Heil Hitler. I want Hitler to be my friend. His photograph is on my desk. I could not bear it if I had to despair of this man. Goebbels submitted to Hitler and his cult with extreme emotionalism, but he was intelligent and clever enough to realise that the future with the party was more secure with Hitler than with anyone else. <laughs>